everyone, Joel Connable with Travel TV News in my favorite city in the entire world, Paris, France. And I'm standing here on the balcony of the Intercontinental Le Grand Hotel, right on the right bank in Paris. And you see this beautiful building behind me? That's the Paris Opera House. And you'll see it if you stay at this hotel. I like Intercontinental because when I travel around the world, I like to stay at American-owned hotels for a very specific reason. Very often when you travel in Europe, you may end up in one of those European hotels with a tiny room and a bidet under the bed? Well, not the case here. The Intercontinental is absolutely gorgeous. The rooms are fantastic. This hotel was actually built way back in the early 1800s, and for a long time, this was the place to be seen. Princes and kings and queens came here, and you'll see this hotel is absolutely beautiful. It's the Intercontinental Le Grand here on the right bank in Paris. All right, so how did my trip begin? Well, I flew on Delta Airlines, their brand new service from Miami to London Heathrow. As I've mentioned on my radio show and my television show as well, Delta Airlines is really competing with American, and that's why they've started new nonstop service from Boston and Miami, and their fares are absolutely amazing. I flew in their business elite. Delta doesn't have first class, they just have business class, and business class seats that turn into lie flat beds, and I guarantee you, if you go to delta.com, you'll see their fares are amazing. In fact, in many cases they're beating American Airlines. So I flew from Miami to London then I went on to Prague. Prague is a beautiful city and if you're thinking about going use one of my favorite websites EuropeanDestinations.com. You'll find a link right on our website right here. It's on our weekly deals page right over here. You'll see EuropeanDestinations.com. Great vacations to Prague. My suggestion is that you do Prague in two or three days. It's a very small city. You can see it very quickly. And I'll give you a few travel tips, where to stay. I stayed at the Hotel Esplanade. The Esplanade is located right by the National Museum, right by the Metro, not far from Old Town. Fantastic hotel, European feel, five stars, and it's a beautiful hotel. And you'll see it if you look on our website. The Hotel Esplanade has some fantastic rates for vacations to Prague. Now, in Prague, one of the tips I want to give you is the St. Charles Bridge. You're going to go on to see it well when you're crossing here's my little travel tip on the old town side make sure you go up in the little door on the tower on the old town side because you can climb 150 steps go to the top of that tower and see views of Prague you have never imagined of seeing and it's a view that a lot of people just pass by so then I ended up in Paris and this is where I am and I've been touring around and seeing all the typical sites the Musée d'Orsay the Eiffel Tower the Arc de Triomphe but I'll tell you, one thing I saw that I think that everyone should do is climbing to the, Arc de, to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. When you go there, there's a, a little tunnel that takes you under the street, takes you to the Arc, and then there's a doorway, and you can walk up 258 steps, I think it is, or you can take an elevator and go to the top, and the views are absolutely amazing. So that's my tip for when you're here in Paris. My other tip is where to stay, right here. This beautiful location in front of the Opera House in Paris on the right bank, the Intercontinental Le Grand Hotel. All our travel deals to Europe right here on our website, TravelTVNews.com. Click on my vacation pick of the week. My bonus deals are my weekly deals from Paris, France. Au revoir. I'm Joel Connable, Travel TV News.